Universal presents Gangbusters. Calling the police, calling the G-men, calling all Americans to war on the underworld. Gangbusters, with the cooperation of law enforcement officers of the United States, presents a picture of the endless war of the police on the underworld. Illustrating the clever operation of law enforcement officers in the work of protecting our citizens. The all-American crusade against crime. Sensational escape from the police, Joe Mason, known member of the Mortis Gang, today abducted Vicki Logan, staff photographer of the Morning Journal. That's bad. Bannister must have got to Joe's room right after we phoned him to scram. Yeah, it says so here. You better get this down to Mortis while it's hot. No, we better wait and see what happens. It says here, Bannister's blocked all roads out of town, expects a pinch any minute. Bannister calling police headquarters. Bannister calling police headquarters. Come in, please. Headquarters answering Bannister. Any report on Vicki Logan or that getaway car? Here, take the wheel. My arm's killing me. What am I supposed to do, burst into tears? I said take the wheel. Still say you haven't got a chance. Come on, step on it. Give it the gun. Do you see what I see ahead? Get out that running board. They won't start shooting. Get up there, I say! out of that fire. There's a girl in there. Bill! Bill Bannister! Vicky! Boy, this is a relief. I thought you were under that. I would be if it weren't for Tim. Why is it reporters making so much trouble? You mean all reporters, Bill, are just the female of the species? Mostly the girl variety, I guess. All right, officer, break up this traffic jam. Bannister calling police headquarters. Bannister calling police headquarters. Come in, please. Police headquarters answering Bannister. Come in, please. Mason's car is wrecked. Garvey Bridge. Mason is dead. Vicki Logan say thanks to Tim Nolan. Relay at once to Chief O'Brien. I don't 
don't care if you are a reporter. You can't get in there. The chief's busy. And I don't care if he is busy. I gotta find out about Vicky. What's happened to Vicky Logan? Don't the police ever know anything about what's going on? Quiet. He's getting a report now. Dead? Are you sure? That's bad. Thanks. Did he say she's dead? Couldn't he be mistaken? Vicky's all right, but Mason's dead. His car went over the Garver Bridge and burned. Boy, what a story. Journal camera girl escapes from a murder car. What a scoop! Oh, I hope she's got some pictures. Did they get anything on Mason? Any fingerprints, clues, something to lead us up to the League of Murdered Men? How could they? The car burned to ashes with him in it. Then we're right back where we started. Doesn't this department ever get anything done? You take Vicky back to town in your car and drop her at the office. What are you going to do? I'm going to that Esther Street house. Mason left any clues. We want to get them on their heart. Okay, I'll drop Vicky and meet you there. I don't see how he could have. There was never much in him to begin with. Much? This man Bannis is no fool. He won't require much. Go to his rooms and make sure there's nothing, nothing that will lead him to us. The cops have probably got the place staked out by now. Staked out? They're on their way there now to search it. You've got to beat them to it and destroy anything he may have left. Well, if the cops find me there... If they find you there, make sure they never return to headquarters. Take Wilkerson with you. Bannister. Hey, Nick's no gunplay. It's too noisy. Stay over by the fireplace. Don't let him see your face. Hold it right where you are. What are you trying to do? Destroy a little evidence? Police headquarters. Hello. 
Hello, this is Tim Nolan, reporting from 712 Vester Street. Two members of the League of Murdered Men just left this address. Yeah, one's Wilkinson, the other's unknown. Wilkinson's about 33. 5'10", 160, got a sandy mustache. He's wearing a blue suit and a brown snap rim hat. The other guy is wearing a gray suit, snappy dress, got a blue Hamburg hat. He's about 35. They both show the effects of a rough and tumble fight. Okay. Hey, how about phoning for a fingerprint man? Give this room a dusting. Oh, Mason's too smart to leave prints on anything but clothing, and the other two gorillas wore gloves. Come on, let's get this on the lab. All this laboratory hocus pocus seems a waste of time to me. If we spent less time on that and more time in running down crooks, we might get somewhere. The lab plays a bigger part in crime detection than any other one department. Nonsense. What can you get from a pair of shoes? And you admit the numbers have been filed off the gun. You can't remove a number from a gun by filing it off. Why not? Well, when it's stamped in, it affects the metal clear through. It can still be brought out by the use of certain chemicals. I think that's got it, Randall. Here, mark this down. C four three two seven nine six R. See it, Mayor? Uh, what good does that do? You can't hang a serial number. You can check through on it and perhaps establish ownership. So you had a class with the police and you let them get away alive. I didn't suspect any of my men could be so stupid. What you saw you to me now that they know you by sight? We kept them so busy, I don't think they'd recognize us. Don't be a fool. Bannis is a police officer and a very able one. <laughs> I could use a few men of his caliber in. That's not a bad idea. I think I shall induct Mr. Bannister into the League of Murdered Men. What? Bring that copper down here where he knows I killed his brother? And when he has died and I have brought him back to life, he'll have to obey my orders in order to stay alive. Like the rest of you. I'm not dead, fellas. You got me all wrong. I never stood lead on you. Well, we think you're dead. And we're giving you a chance to square yourself. Sure. You know me, always ready to do a pal a favor. That's more like it. Here, take this paper and keep it. And we'll just ride around town till dark so you won't change your mind. This gun was first sold to a member of the Crocker Gang out on the coast. Well, this mob is not the Crocker Gang. Their specialty was warehouse jobs. Furs, silks, rugs. Here are your fingerprints. Mason's real name must have been, well, for the love of Mike. What is it? Take a look at that. Jody Marsden. He died in his tour about a year ago. Another dead one come back to life. Oh, it's getting pretty hard to laugh off that League of Murdered Men gag. Doesn't make sense, but... Yeah, I'm busy. Find out who it is and I'll call back later. What? I'll put him on. Jerry Rogan. The studio tipped me off about that. Hello, Jerry. What's on your mind? I got a beef to square with a couple of torpedoes, and I'm doing it my way, see? How'd you like a hot tip on the League of Murdered Men? Uh, don't tell me you believe in spooks. Ah, oh, so you think I'm kidding, huh? Mike Taboni died in stir, didn't he? Yeah, now get this. He's still alive. Well, come up and tell me all about it. No, no, it's too dangerous. You come down here. I'm at Ethan Green. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Tell the coroner I took this. It's the first break we've had on this League of Murdered Men case. All right, then, sir. Sure. Now the rest of us will hide out where we can watch without being seen. 
Boney, you'll be the bait. I don't like it. The basic thing is always gets the hook. When Bannister comes in, you move out where he can see you and... And get shot right in the stomach. Not a chance. He wants to take you alive. What makes you think he's coming here alone? Bannister's no dope, you know. We'll take care of the others, if any. Remember, the professor wants Bannister a prisoner. Okay, but I still don't like it. Here he comes, boys. He's alone. Bannister calling police headquarters. Bannister calling police headquarters. Come in, please. Police headquarters answering Bannister. Go ahead. I'm at 1313 Queens Road. Don't like the feel of things. Have no one come out just in case. All set, Wilkinson? All set. Shoot Bannister. Don't do it! You're going to the chair, Taboni, for killing my brother. But before you burn, you're going to tell us a lot of things we want to know. Undercover, Chapter 5 of Gangbusters at this theater next week.